Okay, you guys, so I'm going in with two packs of the BW2 bleaching cream to bleach the knots on my frontal. And then I'm using 40 volume developer and I'm mixing it in with the bleach. So you guys, when you're mixing the bleach, you just want to make sure that it's a really thick consistency so it doesn't seep through your frontal. So it's really like kind of like the consistency of like sour cream. And I'm just patting that all over the frontal with my the back of the spoon. So then I just put some aluminum foil on top of the frontal that just helps the bleach to process faster. And then after it processed for 20 minutes, I washed it out with purple shimmer light shampoo. And that just helps take the brassy orangeness out of the frontal. Y'all, look at that hairline. That looks so natural, y'all. And then I'm just showing you, like, that literally looks like my scalp. Like, that bleach so perfectly, y'all. And this right here is just a dome cap that I got from my beauty supply store. So I like the dome caps just because they're thicker. And I'm just going to put that on my mannequin head and position it. And then now you'll see me right here. I just pull the frontal up a little bit above where the actual cap starts. Like about half an inch above where the cap starts. And then I put a T-pin in the front and a T-pin right in the middle. So there you see where the end of that flap starts. You're going to pin that down to the end of the lace, just making sure that it's right at the very bottom and it's laying flat. And you can just watch me do it. It's, it makes more sense if you just watch me do it versus talking. And then you're just going to pin it. And make sure that it's flat. And then you're just going to start sewing the frontal. Now, I start sewing from the middle to the end. And I just tie the hair in the front to make sure that it's out of my way. Now you'll see right here, I'm at the end, so I'm just going to knot it. What I do is I take the thread, open it up, and I just pull the thread through, and that creates a knot in the thread. And then you're just going to do the same exact thing on the other side. So you guys can see I'm actually going to show you two ways to get a knot. So this time I'm just taking the thread and I wrap it around the needle three times. And then I just pull the needle through. And that's also another way to create a knot. Now I'm just going to start with my bundles. I have three bundles, 26, 24, and a 22. So I'm going to start with 26 inch at the bottom. And I'm just going to take my needle and I'm going to go through the weft. And I'm going to start at the very bottom of the dome cap. But you're going to make sure that you go through the top of the mesh, not through the thick part of the elastic band. Because if you do, when you cut it, your wig is not going to stretch to fit your head. So just go through the top of the cap. So what I'm doing now is I'm just going to take um, a T-pin to secure my track in place. And that just helps me to sew um, straight. And um, again, I'm just going to wrap the thread around three times. And then I'll pull my needle through. That's going to make a knot. So again, I'm just going to take a T-pin, put it in at the end of the track so that it holds my track in place. And I'm going to do the loop and pull method in a, like a C motion all around the top of the cap. Thank you. 
Okay, so I don't cut my lefts at the bottom. I do the flip over method. So I'm literally just flipping my track over and then I'm going to take my needle and go through the weft and I'm going to continue to sew. And as I go through each section, I like to just comb out the hair just to make sure that it's not getting tangled while I sew. CJ, CJ, no, no, no. And then guys, right here again, I'm just showing you the second way that I secure my knots. Open up the thread, take the needle through the middle, pull it, and that's another way to make a knot. And here I'm just starting on the second bundle of hair. Okay guys, so this is just basically like I almost have two full bundles in. See, that is about as much space as I have left to fit one more bundle. I have one more track that I can fit around here. And yeah, she's going to be very full. Okay, you guys, so here I'm just going to finish up with the second bundle in the circular shape. Then I'm going to actually start to cut my wefts and go straight across the cap until I get up into the very top portion. Now you're going to notice that I didn't take my wefts all the way up to the very top because once I get all the way to the top of the frontal, I'm going to show, I'm going to sew a track going all the way across the top, touching the frontal from ear to ear. And you'll see that soon. All right, so I recorded this part at a weird angle, but as you can see, I'm going to go in with the last track on this part, and you can see the little open space that I have right there. That's what I was talking about, that black space where the cap is. I'm going to sew one more track to meet the top of the frontal from the very end of the cap to the other end, so basically ear to ear. This is what the inside of the cap looks like once you cut off the excess dome cap. Now I'm just going to start to customize my hairline. So I'll go in and spray, that's just conditioner and water in that bottle. And I spray it with water because it's a lot easier to just see the hairline and what you're working with. So I start off by sectioning off what's going to be my baby hairs. And I part in a downward motion and I pluck in a downward motion as you can see. This just makes it easier to see where you're plucking versus plucking in the opposite direction like pulling the hair back. If you pull it towards the face it's a lot easier to see how much hair you're plucking out of the frontal.
Now when I pluck, I usually just do about three plucks and then skip about a centimeter or so, maybe a little over a centimeter. And I do three plucks and I keep going all the way to the bottom. And then I go back in the opposite direction, just doing the same thing. Three plucks, space, three plucks, space. And as you can see, you can clearly see where I plucked it and it just looks a lot cleaner where you can tell a lot more easily where you pluck the hair from. And I usually just part about three sections and then I go on to the middle section in the other side. So you can see I'm just parting off the second side right now. Then I'm going to do one more row, go to the middle, and then I'm going to do the other side. Now I'm just going to go in and do the other side since I finished the other side in the middle. Um, again, just spraying it with water is going to really help you to see what you're doing and how much progress you've made. So always wet it with water. And I'm doing that same plucking motion that I was doing before. And this is about how much hair I took out of the frontal total. Okay, you guys. So this is the final results. She came out perfectly. And so, like I said, this is um, three bundles. I couldn't fit all three bundles on, but I use Eunice, Eunice, whatever you call it. I don't know how to pronounce it. Eunice hair. Um, I had a 20 inch frontal, three bundles, 26, 24, and a 22 inch. And um, I fit just about all of the hair on there. I only had like a little tiny bit of hair left. But as you can see, came out really nice.